guys, I'm somewhere new. Where am I? Okay, I'm actually in my new room, which you guys are going to see soon, if you want to, because I'm going to do a room tour. But basically, I finally moved out of my little bedroom into my massive layer of nerdiness and fandom pictures and posters and all things cool. And I am finally doing another video because I have one exam left and it's history and I'm not worried, even though I know nothing. So today, you lucky people, you are getting a book haul and this book haul is of books which I found in one of the rooms in my house because we were moving all the stuff out because my friends are actually coming to stay with me because we're all going to this Derek Landy event in Leeds because that's what we do, we go to practically every single one and they're coming to stay with me and we needed to make room for them and we were taking stuff out of the cupboards and putting new stuff in and we found these which have been lost for about five years so I'm really excited to show you them but there's a catch. The catch is there isn't actually any information on the back of them about them, so I have no idea what they're about. There are a few that I've heard of, like Black Beauty, Oliver Twist, and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, so I do know, like, a couple of them, but I don't know about the others, so it's practically just gonna be, this is a book, this is who it's by, and that's it. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy it, even though it's practically just lifting it up and showing you it, because that's all I can do. But, once I have finished reading them, I will be writing reviews for my new book blog, which you guys should all sign up to... That was a bus, I hope you couldn't hear that. But if you did, that's what it was, it wasn't me. Anyway, the book blog. This is it. Right here. Somewhere here. I don't know where. But, the link is clickable in the description, and it's basically because... HarperCollins Publishers... I don't even know why or how or anything, but they've actually asked me to review Advanced Readers copies, ARCs, so, you know, I thought I'd best start somewhere to put all of these things, so I've actually written a few reviews, and some of them are from last year, because I did this for a school project, and I've put up all of my event footage from the things I've been to, such as the Cassandra Clare thing, the Michael Malpergo thing, and all five of the Derek Landy things. And I've also put up the pictures from the events with my friends, excuse their weird faces. And I've written a couple of book reviews, which you might find interesting, but they're also quite long, so only read them if you're the brave people. But don't let that stop you, because they are actually in-depth reviews, so if you want to know exactly what I thought about the plot, the characters, the ending, and the writing, read them, because it's worth it. Alright, now, doing books. Sorry, doing them. So there are actually three colours of books, there's the red ones, the blue ones, and the green ones, and for some reason there are different numbers of each, but that's how it works. So the red ones, we are starting with Oliver Twist by the lovely Charles Dickens. I have never read this, I really should read it, and I'm sure you guys will agree, and I do plan to read it, I promise, and I will, but just not yet, because I've actually borrowed four books from people and I need to read those first, and then I've got... Holly Smiles, Geek Girl to read, because she followed me on Twitter and I just feel like I owe her that. And then I've got a few more that people have given me, and yeah, the, these books are just going to be not read for a, quite a while. Maybe I'll get to them in August. Maybe. Then we've got The Children of the New Forest by Captain Marriott, and I have never heard of this. Never. The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, one of my favourite Disney films. I read this as an ebook, I think, once. But I'm not sure if it was like the full thing or not, and there was something on the end and I have no idea what it was. The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and I have no idea what to do with this because if you followed my last channel, Book Addict 2011, you'll know that I have this, which is the complete stories of Sherlock Holmes. That's in here. What, what do I do? It matches those, but I've got this. What do I do? It's like a very calamitous crisis. We're on to Blue. We're starting with The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and that's by Mark Twain. He also wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and I haven't read either, so I can't really tell you anything about it, but I've heard of this because my form tutor dressed up as Tom Sawyer, and I remember being slightly revolted by the fact that he had no shoes on. This is another one I've heard of. It's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Julius Verne. I love his name because I have seen Back to the Future 3 recently and I remember that Dot Brown named all of his children out of 
after him, I think. There was one called Jules, and then there was one called Vern. And when I saw it, I just laughed because I thought, I know that that's a famous author. Then we've got Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, and I believe that he wrote um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which I read. I read that for English, so I've heard of the guy, and he, this is supposed to be one of his best books, so fingers crossed it will be. And it's quite short, so maybe I'll get onto this one a lot quicker than those. We've got The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt. I've read this before, I've got it already. Maybe I should just, like, pick the ones that I've already got and give them away or something. I could do that for a certain number of subscribers. I don't know. You guys tell me. This is another one that I've not ever heard of. It is Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. Another Mystery, Heidi by Joanna Spirey or Spirey or something. That might even be Heidi. I don't even know how you pronounce these things, so I certainly know nothing about the book. This one looks especially boring. It is Tales from Shakespeare by Charles and Mary Lamb. Hopefully it's not about Shakespeare, and hopefully it's not about Shakespeare's characters either, because I don't particularly enjoy his plays. We've got The Coral Island by R.M. Ballantyne. Never heard of this either. Little Women by Louise M. Alcott. Love this book. One of my favourite books. Another one that I've already got and I've read before! Favourite, favourite, favourite book! Black Beauty by Anna Sewell is beautiful, sad. <sighs> the books just fell off the table! No! I, I can't live with them all. There is The Prisoner of Zender by Anthony Hope. Never heard of it. Lorna Doon by R.D. Blackmore. Never heard of this one either. The 39 Steps by John Buchan. I've heard of this, but still no idea what it's about. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. This looks good just because it's got a wolf on the front and it sounds really good. I will read this as soon as I can just because it has a wolf on it. That's not judgmental at all. The last one is by George Eliot and it is Silas Mana? Silas Mana? Something like that. I've heard of George Eliot. I've not heard of this book. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry it was pretty bad. But, now I have to clear up the books that have fallen to their deaths on my floor. Hope you enjoyed, guys. I will see you with another video. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I have two choices for you. One is the bookshelf tour, which quite a few of you have asked me to do. And the other one is the completed series tag, which I actually filmed the other day because I saw it on Jessie's channel, Jessie the Reader, and it looked really fun and I just thought, I can do this. So if you've noticed like a few gaps behind me, that's because that's where the series go. I've had to find them, take them off and put them in a place so I could film. They'll be returned to the shelf eventually. And all of these, gesturing to the floor because it's on the floor, will go in this space that you might or might not be able to see there. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye!